Good morning guys, what's going on? It is uh, Tuesday, the 2nd of April and um, I wanted to make this video just to say a couple of things to thank everybody that's just showing love and support and to just update everybody on my current situation and the plans that I had and still have. So yeah, let's get into it because uh, I don't really have a lot of time today. So first of all, thank you to everyone that's just shown me mega support, mega love, that subscribe to my YouTube channel because of obviously my Into the Hood uh, or behind Into the Hood vlog that I did. Everyone that's just been super supportive, super, super supportive, <laughs> you know, and just super genuine about uh, backing me and, and what I've been doing. I know a lot of you are really new to me. You know, you guys haven't really known me even though I've been trying to build a music career for over nearly two decades, 20 years. It's been grueling, it's been tough, but that's what my label's about. It's no plan B, you know, we don't quit, we keep going. We've had to face, you know, two decades of just overcoming um, the music the music industry and its ever evolving mechanics, social media, and a bunch of other stuff that I won't really go into here today, which is something that I, I guess, maybe will go into if I get enough time today. So I just want to firstly, yeah, thank everybody that showed me mega support. The reason why I'm making this video really is to just let you guys know my situation I spoke to my lawyers last week and my barrister basically told me straight out Jace they're gonna remind you on Wednesday which is tomorrow they're gonna you're gonna be taken into custody and yeah and then they'll sentence you you know a week or two after that so I initially thought that there was a chance that they wouldn't remind me you know, that she might let me go home since I've been on bail for nearly three and a half years fighting this case. Surely she'll just let me go home and come back for sentencing. But apparently they do the sentencing uh, online via the, uh, like they just link you. So whatever jail I'm in, she'll sentence me from there, which is not bad either because honestly I couldn't be bothered with the whole waking up at 3, 4 a.m. and getting taken back to you know the whole logistical nightmare of going back to county court and and to rock up just to be sentenced just to like head back to to um wherever they're going to have me whatever prison so you know that kind of put a dampener on things and i just felt like i had to you know get all my affairs in order which i was working on i was working on that but that kind of obviously took me down a notch and the plans I had to basically shoot vlogs and do do a bit of content just just all went out the window, you know. So I was even debating whether I should do a video to update everybody, you know. I was just going to be like, oh, you know, I'll just leave it at that. And um, whatever, you know. I honestly just wasn't in the mood. To all the... Uh, coffee haters <laughs> or the latte anyway it's a long black yeah just FYI it's a long black I don't know if you can see that yeah, well, you can anyway anyway it's a long black it ain't a latte not that I don't ever get a latte I do but for everyone that was uh, you know watching into the hood like oh, yeah, they're sip yeah, the Melbourne sipping lattes it's a long black only men men drink long black long blacks anyway back to the court stuff so tomorrow 
So today is basically my last day of freedom for, I'm guessing it's going to be from the sentence indication. Now, for those of you that don't know, a sentence indication is when you can go before a judge and get an indication on what your sentencing might be if you take this deal, because that's where we got to. And she said that I'd do about five years in total, meaning I'd get like a five with a three. So you get five on top and you get three on the bottom, meaning you serve three years jail and then you come out, you do parole for the other two, and then that's five in total. She did say that I had great character references. It was just a quick peep at obviously the charges and that's what she came up with. So in the plea hearing is where we really get to tell all the great stuff that I've been doing over the past three and a half years. So hopefully that comes down a bit, but I don't know. We'll see, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I am gonna just keep in my mind that it's gonna be a five with a three. And I know what you guys are thinking. Two things, one, what are the charges that you know got you into this? And two, this is a, this is a shit go and this is really shit timing. Like I just got on Into The Hood. I'm getting an influx of following and subscribers. People wanna see more content and here's this dickhead going to jail. Like, bravo, Jason. Way to fuck it right up. <laughs> so, one, my charges. Look, you can Google it. I don't want to go into it, all right, too much, just because I don't want to, like, make it out like I'm glorifying it. I'm, I'm, I'm far from... I'm not proud at all of the shit that I'm going through right now. Like, it, it, it's been eating at me for the past three and a half years. There's a, there's, there's a whole reason as to how I got here. I won't go into that until I get out and I'll be able to speak openly once I've actually done my time and, and moved forward and you guys can get an understanding as to how, how I ended up here, you know? What's that, Boys in the Hood? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. You know, and um, you, you guys are probably wondering how I got here. And I'll explain that one day, but you can Google it. Type in Little Jace in Google and you should see an article come up from the source which will give a bit of an explanation and a background as to why I'm facing this time anyway to begin with. But in short, um, in short, drug trafficking, firearms trafficking and proceeds of crime dealing with proceeds of crime and a bunch of other other stuff but whatever you can look it up and that's that second of all yeah the shit is timing ever you know and that's probably the most disheartening thing you know that I have a opportunity here to grow my YouTube channel and it's just gonna be put on hold so I thought you know I'm just going to make this video because I've already had like 2,000 plus subscribers come on board wanting more content. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to film this video and I'm going to put it up today. I'll go home later, I'll put it up, I'll upload it, hopefully you guys get to see it. And yeah, that's it, I just wanted to update you guys on that, you know wondering you know what's happening with Jace what's happening with his court case is he going to do more content what's going on with his music now all of that look I've got like 10 songs that I'm going to push out while I'm in there my team is going to handle that my label no plan b and you know they're going to push out the 10 songs that I have in the vault maybe put out some lyric videos and stuff like that maybe if I today get some time to do one or two pieces of content like what I wanted to do was react to some of the comments from the Into the Hood um, video with Spanion so if I can manage to pull that off I will I you know there's obviously a ton of positive comments but there's some just real funny negative ones that I wanted to react to I thought it'd be funny 
and and that's it you know I'll try and do one of those for a laugh but yeah you know guys reading the comments on my vlog of behind into the hood I'm gonna be honest man that shit is motivating it's inspiring myself to want to do more to tell my story more to speak on my experiences um, to bring you know the hood culture that I've lived and breathed for the past you know 38 years to the forefront and you know just capitalize off that that's that's my life it's the only life that I know and it's the only thing that I have that's you know content is the new you know content is king content is currency and that's my content all of these hood stories that I've got here hood culture so I guess you know you could just add this jail time to it you know that, that's the one thing I've never done for everyone that's wondering you know I, I've never done I mean I did jail time back in 2020 when I got locked up but that was brief you know it was like a month and then I got bailed but add this to the story you know I plan to just keep a diary uh, a diary every day to just kind of uh, document my journey throughout prison so when I get out I remember everything all the stories I can just start doing these videos and stuff like that I am gonna try and do what I can in terms of you know you get zoom calls and visitations in prison zoom visits so maybe my team can potentially take some snippets from those um, and we can put them up I don't know might be highly illegal might want to check that first we'll see if we can actually do it but yeah that's it um, yeah I mean it's been like over a week now into the hoods about I think it's like 600 and, what is it yeah 640,000 eight days ago and I think mine's on let's have a look 34,000 in eight days you know I didn't think it would go that well again man thank you guys man love you guys for real reading those um, reading comments and stuff is just uh, yeah makes me want to keep going and that being said if you guys are watching this leave a comment if you want and my team will read that out to me over the phone while I'm inside on meetings if you guys want to send me a message via that way I might even actually once I know where I'm at I might uh, pin my information if you guys you know want to write a letter whatever I don't know you guys might you might not I don't know whatever if you guys do great that would be great you know so um, I'll do that you know once I know where I'm at but yeah I guess what I yeah also what I'll do is I'll try and react to some of the comments on the into the hood and as well as my um, my vlog as well but that's it that's really all I got to say is thank you guys for your support I know it's been real short and sweet we've only gotten to know each other over the past week for those that are new anyway and yeah that's what's happening with my case getting locked up tomorrow I know you guys are probably like, how are you feeling about it? Maybe I should answer that. Pretty shit, to be honest. <laughs> you know? I've been planning to tackle this prison time for three years. Planning and putting things in place so that I could make the most of it, you know? I don't plan to waste a day. I just plan to work out, become a machine, become a beast. I've got my books ready to go read study continue to work with my team out here continue to build my brand that's what i plan to do you know but that's easier said than done yeah so i'm just trying to stay focused stay mentally fit and strong and just cross every bridge when i get there you know I'm trying not to really think about tomorrow too much. I'm just trying to enjoy today as it's, you know, my last day of freedom for a while, obviously, unless God produces a miracle and, you know, the judge is feeling great and she lets me off tomorrow, which 
I highly doubt. Um, but hey, man, you never know. I'll continue to pray to God no matter what. Even if I do go to jail, you know, that never stops. So yeah, I'm just enjoying today, man. It stopped raining. It's gloomy as here in Melbourne. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of just rambling on right now. And, and just because I don't really want to go, you know, because I'm have to face the world and I don't really want to do that because that means I'm a step closer towards my inevitable fate of jail time. What else? I'm just trying to think because I don't want to like wrap this up and then I got to do something else. I think, let me expand on the feelings a bit more. At times, it might sound crazy, but I'm like, I'm eager to get get to it because it's been three and a half years. I just want to start my time and know that now I'm moving forward and in two or three years time, this will be over and I'll come out the other side and I'll be done with that. The other thing is, is that I'll just have all the time in the world to just work out, study and read, which I don't always get the time. You know, I work out like three times a week here in the normal world. Whereas like I can work out every day, I can recover, I can eat, I can stretch, I can just really like get my body into optimal shape. So that's something that I'm kind of looking, f looking forward to, which sounds crazy because it's jail, but you know, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. What would you, what would my biggest concern be about jail? To be honest, my biggest concern is like, if I get a celly, I just hope that he's a good dude, that he's a decent guy, you know, I hope he's not a head doer, I hope that he's not, uh, I hope that he's hygienic, I hope that he's not dirty and he's just stinky and just annoying and like, I hope he doesn't snore, obviously I'm going to try my best to get my own cell by myself, but like I just hope, I really value my time and my, and silence like when I'm at home the TV's never on like I don't turn the TV on and there's nothing to do in prison in those times but the TV but still I won't have the TV on I'd rather read a book so that's gonna be really annoying me if my soulmate wants to watch TV and I just want to read a book because it's hard for me to focus you know so that's my main concern is that it's just I hope I can get my own cell and I hope if I do get a celly that he's not a head doer and I hope I don't get my, my head done in. Other than that, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Music's coming. Look out for it. My socials will still be active. Not as much, but my team will have access. Instagram. YouTube, Facebook page, um, and hopefully we can get some videos up, lyric videos, etc., etc. I'll try and give them some content before I go away. Oh, sun's coming up. I like that. And and yeah, man. If you're coming across this video, stick with me. I'm gonna try and take you on my journey. For those of you that are already watching, stick with me. If you haven't already like share and subscribe stay tuned to my journey that's all over the shop right now and yeah hopefully we can build these subs up you know i'm just wrapped that we got to 4,000 subscribers i'm like man if this keeps going up while i'm in jail and the and you know my team's like yo you just got to 5,000 subs you just got to 8,000 subs you just got to 10,000 subs you just got to 20,000 subs like that's the shit that's gonna fucking motivate me hard. You know what I mean? Like that's what's gonna be like, that's mad. You know, like let's let's keep pumping it. You know, I'm gonna be writing music every day. Like I'm gonna be writing. Like I'm gonna make sure that when I come out, like I'm already sick with the pen. Like that's what I do with my raps, but like I'm gonna make sure that I just take it to another, another, another level. You know, so I'm using this, I'm turning this negative into a complete positive and I'm just gonna come out a machine and a beast on every single metric you can think of, you know? But, yeah, 
Let's get the subs up, man. Leave me comments. Leave me comments because that shit's gonna motivate me. The team's gonna let me know, like, yo, we'll read some comments and I'm gonna be on the phone and that shit's gonna make me smile ear to ear. So send the negative ones, be like, yeah, Jace is getting bashed, Jace is getting stood over, blah, blah, blah. Not, not happening. And, you know, shit's gonna make me laugh anyway, you know, so it's all good. You know, just knowing that this is still going, knowing, knowing, knowing that, you know, this is just growing, man. So, yeah, do that, subscribe. Keep going with me because we're not stopping. We're not going to let this deter us. It's no plan B. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great morning, great evening, great night. If I don't hear from you guys, if you don't see me anytime soon, you know what's happened. I'm in the miracle. The miracle didn't happen. You know what I mean? So you just got to stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with the whole journey, the process that we're going through, man. Because we're in it together now. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Little Jace. Peace.